Good morning, Miss Melissa. How are you? Good. I'm good. Good. You know, How if are you, you, I am wonderfully blessed as always, <laughs> and so are you. <laughs> And if you can see what I'm doing right now, I am actually bowing down to you. I adore you and your character in Bridesmaids. Oh my God, thank you. I don't know if I've ever been bowed to. That's well, kind of fantastic. <laughs> there's always a first time. Now, you know, <laughs> Ms. Melissa, it. in my review of Bridesmaids last week, I said you stole the show much like how Zach Galifianakis stole The Hangover. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thanks for that. Oh, Do I send you a check? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I heard that your character, though, was on the verge of being scrapped until you stepped in the last minute. Was that true? That's what I heard. I heard that they weren't quite uh, finding the right the right fit for it. And then, uh, luckily for me, I came in at the right time, and and they I liked what I was doing, and and, and uh, we saved Megan. So I was, for me, I was awfully glad that happened. Right now, what was your attraction to making the film? Uh, well, I mean, I've, it's a million reasons. It's like every every kind of possible thing was. It seemed fan too fantastic to be true. I mean, one that Judd Apatow was uh, producing it right off the bat. It's almost like I don't care what it is. I want to do it. Paul Feig directing it, and then you know, Kristen Wiig and Annie Mumolo wrote writing this fantastic script with a bunch of women that most of whom I, I have known for like 10, 12 years. I've known Annie and Kristen for probably 12 years and I know how funny they are and how smart they are and and I kind of knew how good the script would be and it didn't it didn't let me down they wrote a really 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 good script that's also wildly funny oh I mean and then you have someone like Paul Feig directing you and it's it's just it's not gonna get better than that it's just a perfect setup oh yeah you guys seem to had so much fun at the set how was it oh my God. <laughs> ridiculous I mean it was it was ridiculous it was it was like a the only it was like a constant fear of ruining takes because you would just see people kind of go down or try to get out of camera because there was always somebody laughing people you know we improvised a lot so you wouldn't know what was going to come out of somebody's mouth so at any given time someone was going to say something so funny and weird and like you would never see it coming and and the whole day was just kind of playing defense of like just keep it together for the love of god keep it together there's oh. a lot of just ruined takes of like just someone like turning and going, going down, trying to get out of camera. And then, of course, somebody would say, like, we can see you doing that. <laughs> you can't just suddenly bow out of camera because you're laughing. <laughs> no, you came from the dramatic world, though. That's the most interesting part. And how did you get into the comedy world? Well, you know, I, I, start, I actually started doing stand up back in New York about 342 years ago. And uh, I did that for a little while, and then I thought, you know, I think every like new person in the business, is like, I've got to do a one-person show. So then I started uh, studying acting in New York, and and then from there, weirdly, I did like you know eight years of very serious. Uh, anytime like somebody was crying in a play, it was me. And then I didn't I didn't go back into comedy until until I moved to Los Angeles and started with the Groundlings Theater. Aww. And once I saw, you know, I saw. The first time I went there, I saw Michael McDonald, Kathy Griffin, you know, all these amazing people. And I just, they were doing these, you know, great characters. And I thought, oh boy, like this is, I'm going to do anything I can do to get into this place. And oh, and now you're one of them, Miss Melissa. I support I you 100%. I'm so excited you, to see Manny. you. The next time I want to talk to you, I want to talk to you as Miss Melissa McCarthy, the leading lady. <gasps> I'll take it. Set that okay. up for me, Manny, will you? <laughs> I will, I will, I will. And good luck on your um, Stanley Cup project. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Thanks. And come visit us in Palm Springs someday, okay? All right. All right. I'll luck. take that seriously. All right. <laughs> okay, Goodbye. bye.